Figma versus Framer. In this video, I will be showing you the main differences between Figma and Framer. If you're comparing design tools, Figma and Framer often come up and while they may look similar on the surface, they serve very different purposes. Let's start with Figma. Figma is a web-based design platform made for UI and UX design. It is perfect for creating wireframes, mockups, and clickable prototypes, all without writing a single line of code. One of its biggest strengths is real-time collaboration. Whether you're working with a team or a client, everyone can jump into the same field and work together instantly. It's easy to use, clean and beginner friendly, which is ideal for designers who want to focus on layout and structure. Framer originally started as a prototyping tool, but today it's evolved into a full-fledged interactive design tool. With Framer, you can create websites and prototypes that feel like real apps, complete with animations, hover effects, page transitions, and even custom code. That's right. Unlike Figma, Framer lets you use React components for more dynamic features. This makes it more powerful, but also a bit more complex for beginners. So what is the core difference? Think of Figma as your collaborative sketchbook, quick, clean, and code-free. And think of Framer as your interactive playground, more advanced, more animated, and more flexible for developers. If you're a UI designer or just getting started, Figma might be the better choice. But if you want advanced interactions or are comfortable with a little bit of code, Framer gives you more power to play with. Both tools offer free plans, so it's easy to try them out and see which fits your workflow best. And that was a quick overview of Figma versus Framer.